Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan 42 and I'm going to show you how to use Autodesk Fusion 360 this time on Linux. Okay, so there's been a couple of different methods out for using this before. Uh, one of the main ones was Lutris. So if you go into Lutris, search Fusion 360, you'll find Autodesk Fusion 360 um, and you can find more information at that if you go right click, I think, right click, no? Ah, okay. Uh, if you search for it on Lutris's website, uh, it also kind of links in with the um, the one for Wine as well. So like this one, um, uh, it uses Wine on the back end, which is why it would do that. So yeah, I've tried it this way. It doesn't work. So it's a bit of a cop out method, but what you need to do is install Windows on a virtual machine. So if you have a virtual machine, which I'm sure you probably do for Windows, because on Linux, there's a lot of things that don't work perfectly, or as expected, even. Um, so it's useful to keep a virtual machine, get Oracle VM VirtualBox, or one of the other VirtualBox managers out there, uh, virtual machine managers out there, and just install the, the program as normal. Uh, then once it's installed, you can double click it and load it as normal. Now, it's a bit of a cop-out method. I know I'm not getting it to work on here. I have tried um, setting up the wine myself. I've tried uh, loads of different methods in order to try and make this work as I wanted it to work, but I could not get it to work uh, in that way. So that's why I have resorted to this um, for now. Hopefully, maybe in the future, they will bring this out on Linux because it is an actual, actual uh, fantastic piece of software. Um, that I uh, would really like to continue be able to, to using. I've tried FreeCAD. I can't get into it. I'm finding it very difficult to get into. Maybe I just need to put more effort and time into it. I don't know. But um, yeah, this is how this one runs up on here. It is a bit slower because obviously it is going through a virtual machine. Um, but technically, it is about the same. So I can load up number 44. Let's do that one, shall we? Um, so this is the number 44 for my <laughs> uh, for my door number, just in case you didn't know where I live. You can move it around. It kind of looks perfectly good. Uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, it's not exactly uh, going slow um, or anything like that. But you can you can go on here and you can you know click this and I don't know, set up a new one of these uh, and then. I want to create a square on this, like that. Oh, yeah, to there. And then what we'll do is we'll press E and we'll extrude uh, this square by five mils uh, in the north direction, I guess. And then we can just go to here and we can see that, that is there. Um, uh, I mean, that looks kind of strange from here, actually, but sometimes it does that, doesn't it? Ah, there we go. It's just a bad line. Um, if I was running it in full screen mode, that might actually eliminate that issue. Um, but for now, that is <laughs> that is all I've got. Because I just tried reinstalling um, or just Fusion 360 through this way. Uh, it seems to be a completely different install to the one that I saw last time. But it still, for me, isn't working. So if anyone else has a better way of doing this, let me know in the com comment section below. If, uh, if not... <laughs> then I just pray that someone else is able to fix this and make this actually work because it is um, a uh, it's, it's a bit of software that I really, really do enjoy using, this, this one. Uh, and to be able to use it natively in Linux would be great. This is actually a fair workaround. And, you know, as long as you know your measurements uh, before you go into it, you can very easily whack something out on here and, uh, you know, get it made nicely um but yeah for now that is this don't forget to subscribe learn anything from us with us at nature for two and thank you for watching